knee pain, meniscal tear, type of the tear. The first type is called vertical longitudinal tear. You can see here in the diagram how that tear will look like. This is the tear that probably will need repair. Peripheral tear is vascular and probably will need repair. Tears in the peripheral 25% in the red zone will heal. The smaller the rim width of the tear, the better the healing. This longitudinal or peripheral tear is the type that you see it with ACL tears and also you can see it with tibial plateau fractures. There is another peripheral type of meniscal injury called incomplete longitudinal or peripheral tear. It doesn't go through the entire meniscus, it goes through part of the thickness of the meniscus. The vertical or peripheral tear are called bucket handle tear when they are complete and unstable. Complete tear are usually longer than one centimeter. It will usually displace into the joint and causes mechanical symptoms and possibly block of extension and it's called logged knee. How do you know the locked knee of this patient is from a meniscal tear? You will be able to tell that from the history and the examination of the patient. If you have a history of an injury and you have a joint line tenderness and some effusion, the patient probably has a meniscal tear. So you got complete longitudinal peripheral vertical, then you got the bucket handle, then you got the displaced bucket handle. In the medial side, that can give you the double PCL sign. The double PCL sign on the MRI is 100% specific for bucket handle meniscal tear. You can also see it in the MRI as fragment on the notch sign because when fragment is displaced or you can see absent bow tie sign. Then the other type is called parrot beak. This is an oblique tear. There are a group of them, maybe three of them. So the first one with the peripheral tear there are four of them. Second one, oblique tear, there are three of them. The uh, parrot beak occur at the junction of the posterior horn and the body of the meniscus. They can cause mechanical symptoms and the treatment is usually partial excision to stable them because you can repair them. The parrot beak, if the tear is bigger, it can be a flap and then it can be a displaced flap that causes mechanical symptoms. So we see in the peripheral tear, the oblique tear. Now we're going to see another one, which is the radial tear, which cannot be repaired. And in this case, we lost the circumferential fiber integrity. And it usually starts centrally and it proceeds peripherally. It can lead to a flap tear or double flap tear. The horizontal tear occurs more in the older population and may be associated with meniscal cyst. Complex tear, it may be a combination of all these types and usually occur in the older population. So why we look at the types? because some of them may be repairable if they are peripheral tear. Some of them may cause mechanical symptoms, such as displaced bucket handle tear. Some of them may not be repaired at all. They may need just trimming or partial excision to a stable rim like the radial tear. 
or a flap there. Some of them may have a meniscal cyst like the horizontal tear. Some of them may be complex degenerative tear as in older population in arthritis and they may want to start eating that conservatively. So knowing the type of a tear may help you in planning your treatment. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful to you.